Greetings, YouTube. Danny Staten here on the Daddy Dan Blog. I want to start out by telling everybody Happy Thanksgiving. I'm shooting this video on Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. And this is going to be the last vampire horror kind of comic book review I do till January. Be sure to join me the first week in January when I'll be returning to Carl Vincent, Vampire Hunter. Dracula Rising series. But till then, something else is rising. <laughs> I'm looking at Vampirotica number one. Let's bust this bitch open and see what she looks like on the inside. Well, YouTube, I busted it open. Oh, and I busted it good. It's a number one. Let's check out what year it's from. Well, YouTube, it's disappointing. It's all in black and white. And what we've got here is a lingerie special. Number one from 1995. And yes, it's for adults. Age 18 plus. I'm going to give this one an XXX. And as I bust it open to the inside cover, guess what? Right off the rip, I got to put the phone over some stuff. This is going to be a censored review. Oh my God, YouTube, it's just a big black and white book of pictures of some naked bitches. Oh my God, I got to cover everything up in this book, YouTube. I'm going to do a double comic book review on this one. I'm going to take a look at another comic book like this, because chances are half the pages I'm not going to be able to show you anyway. Wow, YouTube, wow. This is the most erotic, disgusting, filthy Oh my God, pictures book I've ever done on YouTube. I'm glad it's the day for Thanksgiving because if I did this today of Thanksgiving, people might complain a little bit. And YouTube, if you wonder why I put a phone over some nasty shit or an ink pen over some nips and stuff, let me explain to you that I put up a Vampirella comic book once and all I did was show her naked cartoon ass and they took my video down. So I want to make sure that don't happen again with this piece of crap. Well, YouTube, if you want some erotic fantasies, I recommend you run out and buy you a copy of this book. I just skipped four pages I couldn't show none of, and it was some raunchy stuff. It was so bad it made the Daily Dan nauseous. And Daily Dan don't get nauseous very often. Oh, but as you can see, I'm still having to censor stuff. So what you got here is a great big comic book with no freaking stories and a bunch of art of naked bitches. Reminds me of some stuff my friend Harold drew back in the day. Maybe I'll put that on YouTube. Someday. Yeah, but I'm just rolling on through here. Check out Dark Angel over here. There you go, Leanne. Hey, Leanne. Ah, I shouldn't have said that. She'll be mad at me. Please don't unsubscribe, Leanne. It was a joke. It was a joke, Leanne. It was a joke. Oh, my God, YouTube. I'm so glad this comic book is about over. It's no review here. It's just me showing you a bunch of pictures. And the pictures I'm showing you, I can't even really show you. I don't even know what to say about this comic book. It leaves me at a loss for words. And feeling very unusually horny. Oh, my God. And YouTube, that brings me to the end of this dismal freaking nightmare. In the back of the book, you can order all the other sick comic books from this company. Oh, oh my God. So, YouTube, that's my look at Vampire Erotica, number one from 1995 from Brainstorm Comics. And if you ask me, the motherfucker brainstorming this had a little bit of the perversion going on. I can understand stuff like this in Vampirella or even in an Elvira comic book as it's part of the story, the plot. It's just the way it is. But this is just pure exploitation. This here is some fucking garbage. Thank you, Captain, for sending me this book to review. Hey, he sent me another one. Hold on for a second. And YouTube, from the same freaking mold, I bring you Vampire Bites, another Brainstorm Comics, number one, from who the fuck knows what year. Oh, my God. I don't even sure I want to open this one. But I said a double comic book review for the day before Thanksgiving. It's a special. I'm not doing no more horror books, no more vampire books, no more graphic creature books till January. From now to January, I'm going to do the good stuff. And you got some good stuff coming up. Let me also advertise the fact I got a brand new... Really, really old monkeys comic book is coming up next week, and I can't wait to get a hold of that one because I'm going to enjoy it a lot more than I'm enjoying this. Well, YouTube, what we got here is Vampire Bites, number one from 1995. Oh, my God. 
That's another one of them brainstorm comics like the one you just seen, which I guess means we'll get a lot of black and white shit. No story. And some shit I just can't show people on YouTube. Huh. Another wonderful book for a Thanksgiving Day Before special. Oh, my God. Well, a pleasant surprise. A real pleasant surprise, YouTube. It's got a chick in danger. And a number one already being chased by what looks like some vampire guys. And it looks like we're going to get a story. So that's a good thing, right? Vampire Park. Ah! Well, just what the world needs, YouTube. A wonderful vampire comic book in black and freaking white. Here's a full panel of a girl trapped in a park full of vampires. It just so starts that way, and it's let's roll off into the story on a number one with no explanation of how this happened or what the fuck's going on. Don't you just love these stupid comic books from this crappy company? Oh, my God. Well, you two, we should have known it would have went pornographic. I can't show you nothing off this page but this one panel because some clothes is coming to fuck off. Oh, my God. Hey, somebody call the cops. Oh, oh my God. Somehow the caught a cops and had the motherfuckers that drew this comic book and put it out fucking arrested. Another wonderful book from my friend the captain. Huh. Even the goddamn cops are vampires, and I can't show you much of the story because I just flipped through like four pages of people fucking in the park. I can talk about it, but I can't show you. Well, YouTube, I went through about four more pages of some stuff. I can't even show you one panel off of it was so perverted, sick, and nasty, and all in black and white for your viewer hatred. Ugh, black and white. Why would anybody do a comic book in black and white? At least they put this really cool centerfold cover in there. I can show you that. Hey, here's another full panel of the comic book. I can show you some of the art. It's really nice art. It's drawn really well to be in black and white. If they colored this shit in, I bet it'd be a fucking good comic book. Well, they took out all the X-rated crap that I've had to cover up. Skip two more pages of graphic nudity and I can show you another panel. Don't even ask me what's going on in this story because it virtually has none. Vampires fuck some people up in a park. Vampires run to the club. Cops come up but they were vampires too. Fucked up some more people. And now this crap's going on and they're standing around the table like a bunch of damn witches. I, I'll tell you, as far as comic book goes, only the covers impress me. Only the covers. And the last page of the book kind of reminds me of Vampirotica, you know, two big pages with some art that don't even really matter and has no storyline whatsoever, much like this comic book and the one before it. Lack of story, very decent art, but in black and white, and that kind of makes it suck. So I'm having to give these books big thumbs downs on the interior and uh, interior story, but I'm giving it thumbs up for the art and the covers. And as usual, YouTube, we're going to finish off these comic books with some ads in the back for some other stuff and some freak speech. I know some people that talk funny, they could probably use that speech. Therapy, John Moxley. Oh, did I say his name? Oh, my God. <laughs> Laugh out loud, YouTube. On the back of this comic book is a commercial for the first comic book I just did, Vampirotica. And I can actually show the back of this comic book, unlike the back of... Vampirotica, which I couldn't even show you on camera. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, YouTube, I want to give a special shout-out to my friend, The Captain, for giving me these two books to review. And as I hated the insides of both of them, I think they're both graphically pornographic crap and carry no story or no real... No real intelligence to speak of inside of them. Oh, my God. But they have some great-ass covers, and they are number one. I especially like that Vampire Bites cover. It's more the line of comics I like. And this seems to be more like a Vampirella cover, damn near a rip-off. I give both these covers big thumbs up. Captain, I'd hang them on my wall, too. Yeah. And these little monkey spankers on my channel is going to love looking at these bad boys, huh? All righty. This is Danny Staten on the Daddy Damn Blog, running out of time, looking at these two triple X-rated comic books. And saying, oh my God, oh my God, don't buy them. Blog over.